Now, the World Bank has committed 2.4 billion shillings towards the renovation of 58 kilometers of gravel roads, resource centers, abattoirs, lockup stores, and market stores. The facilities are supported through the World Bank's refugee window for infrastructure development, which is worth $60 million and aims to help 10 more local governments accept refugees. Lands Minister, Minister Judith Nabakova, who is hosting the USMID program, says the new state-of-the-art facilities would boost economic activities and development. The Kamos Bramwanja refugee settlement is home to nearly 100,000 foreigners, excluding natives, and has relatively low socioeconomic amenities. The World Bank refugee window has now created various amenities for the people, including resource centers and community halls, market stores, and a taxi park. You have to develop a strategy of maintenance and sustainability. In most cases, our projects collapse and it deteriorate because we did not plan for maintenance and sustainability. Lands Minister Judith Nabakova, who officiated at the launch of various projects, which are supported by the World Bank at a cost of 24 billion shillings, says the investment will uplift livelihood in Kamwenge. The completion of the civil work projects signifies more than just physical structures. They represent Ugandan spirit of Ubuntu and sharing these faces with the refugees will symbolize hope, opportunity and mutual respect. According to Kamwenga Woman Member of Parliament, Livia Bahairera, these facilities are expected to help more women enter the agro sector and earn more money by trading in a better setting. Our community it's a very vibrant community. We are going to use these projects, these resources, very, very effectively for the general development of our district. Agriculture Minister Frank Tumwebaze has, however, urged the refugee and host community in Kamwenge to expedite the diversification of their farming activities in order to reap financial benefits. Kamwenge joins Chilean Dongo, Yombe, Ajumani, Moyo, Madio, Kolo, Arua, Terego, Obongi, Lamo, and Isingiro as government endorsed refugee hosting areas that are collectively implementing the 60 million US dollars in World Bank infrastructure projects through USMID.